today I'm hanging out here at the Motorhome Exchange in Stewart, Florida, and I'm excited to take you on a full tour of this 2019 Marathon Coach. This is Marathon Coach 1285. It's got 36,000 miles on it. it. has a lot of really cool features that I'm excited to show you, and it's priced just under $1.5 million. So if you're familiar with the current Prevo market, and if you look at other similar marathon coaches of this vintage on the market, you'll understand why I'm so excited about showing you this coach and why it's such a great deal. Love these basement bay doors on the Prevo X3, very industrial style. Keep in mind, these are the same buses that a lot of the tour buses, even Greyhound buses are running around in these, a lot of million mile coaches out there. And this first bay is gonna have your signature Marathon Coach lawn chairs, Marathon Coach embroidery, and those are housed up here. You do have a big slide tray. This is a, a power tray. You just press this button and that will come out. You can see all your Marathon Coach owner's manuals, all super clean, lined with carpet. You have a lot of your breaker boxes cleanly labeled down here and a lot of storage in this first bay. Bay two is gonna have a couple more of those lawn chairs and then more storage, 12 volt disconnect and 24 volt disconnect. Samsung TV with a sound bar. I love this uh, style of wood grain that they use to finish it out. And then you do have a launch port control. I'm gonna show you more of the settings of this control when we get inside of the coach, but more outlets out here. Simple labeling, labeling for your TV in and TV out. And then back here behind your TV is gonna be some of your plumbing uh, stuff going on. You got your water filter, a couple little water pumps there. There's your manifold system. And this coach does have five TVs total. So I look forward to showing you the rest of those TVs when we get inside of this coach. Now it does have a 208 gallon diesel fuel carrying capacity, a little over 150 gallons of fresh water, 80 gray and a little over 50 black. There's even a little locking mechanism here to uh, protect that 208 gallons of diesel fuel. And it looks like date codes on the tires are 2021s. These are Michelin tires, uh, 2022 date codes there. And let me just triple check these steers up front for you guys. And 2021 date codes on the steers there. So fresh Michelins all the way around. This does have the large awnings up top as well. And going back into the engine bay, you've got the Volvo D13. There's the Prevo VIN number, your gross vehicle weight, all of that good stuff, uh, 55,000 pounds. Going into the engine hatch back here, there's a look at the uh, back of the coach with the engine bay open. This does have a 20,000 pound towing capacity. There's a look at that Volvo D13. All the belts are very accessible, easy to get to, very serviceable. Prevo uses these, these buses are running down the roads uh, daily, uh, transporting all different people. So they have to make sure these are reliable, easy to, to work on. Your uh, belt routing there if you need everything very simple and well labeled. Now this is a double slide coach. We're gonna show you the inside with the slides in and out, but Let's take a closer look at these bays. Again, you have a little lock there to protect that 208 gallons of diesel fuel. Here's your plumbing bay. There's a look at that manifold system. I love how they finish this out. A uh, little spigot to wash your hands. You have your gravity fill for your fresh water tank. Little spot for some paper towel and soap. You've got your hose reel controls all here. Your black and gray tank rinse. Fresh water uh, fill here. There's a look at your tanks there with those sensors on it. And then you have a little Crestron panel out here. This bay is gonna house your 20 kW PowerTech generator. This is all in the wrapper. It looks like it's only got 350 hours on it. Low miles on the coach, low hours on the generator, all extremely clean. And then here's the other side of the full pass through bay bay one with this full slide tray that will come out both ways and right now they've got some of the miscellaneous items that come with the coach and here's a look at your side camera stunning paint job and little detail work like the marbling 
in this paint job. It's a very simple, classy, clean look. Now, those of you that know the late model Prevo market know there's just not a lot of inventory out there. And this coach is priced significantly less than any other 2019 marathon coach on the market. So this interior is extremely classy with the warm colors and this coach is loaded with storage that I want to show you but first let's take a quick look at the cockpit area. I love the two-tone leather. You have the standard Prevo cockpit with this large digital screen here. You've got your cameras. You can see a, there's a look at the Liberty Coach showroom there right now. Uh, right side, left side and rear cameras all easily accessible very large screen simple air conditioning controls shade controls you can lock your baggage doors and then a couple little storage compartments here for your driver your transmission gear selector and rear view mirror controls are very simple tire pressure monitoring system here's a little light that shows you that your shore power is on so you are plugged into 50 amp a lot of redundancy built in this coach little outlet there it's your driver window your high idle a nice area here again two-tone seats these are massaging seats you've got several different uh, massages that you can select and nice little area here cup holder spot to set your cell phone uh, you do have ground effect lighting you can put your shades up and down control your patio lights all from the passenger area here with right around 36,000 miles, this coach is absolutely in the wrapper. And I love the flooring here. I've got to give everybody a close-up of this and, and the level of skill that it takes to do this. You can see this wood grain. You can see this curve and the way the tiles are laid in. Just a really cool design. And I will show you uh, this coach with the slide rooms in towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole video. And Right now we've got the blue accent lighting on the ceiling. This can be switched to different color accent lighting. And then beautiful valances. Now, this will turn into sleeping. It is manual, so you just pull that up. And one click and then it easily turns into sleeping there. And then to put it back up, very simple. and then just snaps into place. And I'll show you this dining table. I really like this booth style, and this will manually swivel out to make getting in and out of the dinette a lot easier. And then if you want to adjust the table, especially when you have the slide rooms in, underneath here, it's a little switch. And you can adjust that table in and out with that switch. And I love how Marathon has a bunch of little hidden switches. And then you've also got outlets and usb ports conveniently located down here and they're utilizing every little space for storage so here behind this beautiful backrest with a chevron pattern i love that two-tone with the brown leather but uh you got a little bit of storage back there and leather or um ultra leather i'm not sure exactly what the material is but beautiful material there on the inside of that little storage compartment beautiful lighting below this hard surface that runs below the windows. And I love all the little art recesses that Marathon Coach uses and nothing in there right now, but you could easily put something cool in there and another little art recess here. And the cool thing about that is when you're parked at a campground, if you wanna have something cool in there, you can open that blind up where you know people walking by the coach can see a little bit of your style in this little art nook area. Now, we do have a launch port uh, tablet here to control a lot of the systems on the coach yeah i was working with the shades we come down here you've got your tech link so your house batteries your tanks and temps your shore inverters generators generator start stop all that you can control your climate from this tablet bedroom galley salon cockpit four different climate zones you can control the lighting again in all the different zones you have different levels of lighting, uh, the different percentages, as well as the master lights. 
You can control your awnings, uh, extend and retract. You can extend all of them at once there. Lots of stuff that can be e easily done from this tablet. And this is on the launch port control, so you can walk around the coach using this as you need. And then when you're done with it, it's got this little launch port charger snaps right into place very easily and this coach does have five tvs so i like this tv when the slide room comes in you can still have a clear shot of that tv while you're going down the road and then of course when you're stopped at camp you've got this other large tv that swivels down and you can see one of the things i like about this tv is when that comes all the way down you still have a good amount of space going in and out of your coach a lot of times different coaches you're going to kind of catch yourself on this tv as you're walking into the coach but you can see i've got pretty wide shoulders and i'm 6'2 and i can walk into this coach very easily while that tv is down I, I like this uh fireplace here that's a feature that you see in a lot of marathon coaches uh gives you a little bit of heat now i kind of passed over this little area here but i've got to give you guys a close-up of this beautiful recliner with the same two-toned leather that matches the captain's chairs. I do want to show you this little uh, desk area comes out and that can be utilized as an office space. You've got storage below for your remotes and whatnot and all the little details like that Marathon Coach emblem in the wood grain. And then more storage there and lined with that uh, embossed leather type material going back into this uh, booth area there is a good amount of storage here overhead again all lined on the inside lots of storage uh, throughout this coach and all the little details like the the curvature on this cabinet door it's just incredible i tip my hats to the uh, craftsman there at marathon coach in coburg oregon where these are built and then a little, another little uh, art nook there uh, on the inside of the slide room. Cool style there. And then you have an art recess here with a cool painting. That looks like uh, maybe Arizona there. Looks like my uh, homeland there. Coming back over to the galley again, another little spot for artwork. They've got a cool style elephant in there as well as some other cool little decor pieces. Uh, but they do a lot of really cool things in their galleys that I want to show you. And I want to point out how they break up the color of the cabinets. You've got a little bit warmer cabinet here with a, like a leather inlay on the face. And then it changes to a different color as we come to the center of the coach to break things up a little bit. But this refrigerator is really cool. When you're looking at it, you're going to think this is just normal cabinets. But this is actually a Fisher Paykel refrigerator and it's got a bunch of wine bottle storage up here now those wine bottles are not refrigerated up there you could see that same embossed leather uh, but i like that the cabinet door there the face of that refrigerator door gives it that floor to ceiling look just finishing it out and then it looks like there's four drawers here but this is your freezer and then a little sliding ice tray there little cocktail tray there with some cocktail glasses and a crystal bottle there but lots of storage in this kitchen again lined with that same material it's like an embossed type leather with a little lip right here so if stuff is sliding it's not you know sliding into the face of the cabinet doors a little nook up here above your GE microwave and it does have a melee cooktop with this uh, nice countertop cover there lots of drawer space for storage again the little details like that marathon coach logo inside of the drawer underlit countertop as well it's your marathon coach owner's manuals a little more storage here with your sink covers nice little spot to store those and then there is a sink cover to cover up this large one-piece bowl sink you do have a Fisher Pickel dishwasher as well as a little more storage and all the little details like how they cut this area out just to utilize this space for storage and then more pantry space here these nice wood pull out drawers again that marathon coach logo on the inside you can really feel the quality as I go through this coach and all the little detail every little square inch is finished out 
Now, real quick, I want to point out how much headroom is in this coach. I'm 6'2", and the X3 chassis actually has a little bit more headroom than the H3 chassis. So the bays aren't going to be quite as tall as the H3, but for tall guys like myself, you pick up a little bit of extra headroom in here. And the other big difference between the H3 and the X3 is the cockpit area here is going to be on the same level of floor as the rest of the coach, where in the H3, you've got like a little step down into the cockpit area. Now going into the bathroom here, you've got a beautiful shower and this does have a glass door. You just press this button and that glass shower door will close. This does have a bench seat and then beautiful tile work here. And this wall will actually light up as an accent, but I wanna give you guys a close up of the tile work goes floor to ceiling. Just this detail is incredible. You do have a towel bar here in your shower for wet towels or swimsuits and this is all just molded together just a beautiful style uh, and then uh, now there's a little spot here to set your uh, body wash or shampoo or whatnot and one of the cool things about this is and, and the camera's not going to like this but I just want to show you guys we press the shower accent and then that will light up but do not like that that type of lighting that's behind that but really a cool look with the human eye and going across the shower here, you've got a good sized water closet with that beautiful light tile floor and a really cool style on the sink here. There's your Tecma toilet, good sized mirror there behind your toilet, really tall ceilings in this X. And this, like I said, there's five TVs in this coach. So another TV here in your bathroom. And if you want to kind of close this area off, press the galley door button here. And now it's like a private retreat back here. So your shower, and you can even actually close off the bedroom door as well. So when you close off the bedroom and the galley door, it's almost like this bathroom is its own little room in itself. Still the same beautiful uh, blue lights on the ceiling there. And I gotta give everybody a close up of this backsplash on the tile. and The same countertops like we saw in the galley. Lots of storage in your bathroom as well. Again, the same Marathon Coach logo in the drawers. Everything fully finished out. Outlets in your bathroom. Really cool texture on the wall here too. There's so much stuff going on. It's hard to capture it all, but going into the bedroom here. So I'll just press that button. That bedroom door will open up for us and Really good size rear bedroom, and I like this floor plan and the livability of it. So the slide room is out right now, but the first thing to the left is this very large closet with a big ironing board here. You want to stay fresh. A residential style ironing board, you can just pop out. It's just held in place here. And then you've got plenty of room kind of in this area to set up that ironing board and make sure your clothes are looking wrinkle free. And this is a good good size closet here all finished out with drawers again lined on the inside with the marathon coach logos and a high-end carpet here and then a high-end material on this wall and i love the different textures that they use you've got that wood veneer there and even a little different style uh material here on the ceiling you know i always just like to show this a lot of people wonder about those air doors I was just showing you. Here's the emergency door release. If for some reason that door didn't work when you press that button, uh, these are ran by pneumatic air. So you press that release, you can manually open it up, something you don't have to worry about. So there's a lot of uh, redundancy built into this coach for little stuff like that. But a little more artwork here. This may be Utah. Uh, drop a comment below if you know where uh, these pictures are from beautiful pictures that really tie everything together. And then we've got a good sized closet here, bedside with little shoe cubbies that lights up when we opened it up. Beautiful carpet there on the floor and definitely way overbuilt. You see it's got four good size hinges here on each door. And then when you close these doors, you could really feel that quality. I like this little countertop space here that wraps around and then some good drawer space here in your bedroom again 
I love to show the little, I, I love those little uh, logos in the doors, little details. Same wood floors in the bedroom. You've got heated floors throughout the entire coach and a king size bed. You've got the large Samsung TV here in your bedroom. And then there's also another sink here and beautiful uh, backsplash like we saw in the uh, bathroom there. And lots of cabinets, lots of storage throughout this coach. And then I really like the mirrors that are on both sides of the TV. More storage, again, all lined. And then there's that other emergency air door release. I like seeing those. And we do have the blinds in the bedroom down right now. Just beautiful blinds, very thick, rich feel on those blinds. Uh, but you can see, normally you have those big Prevo windows here. So again, that curve on the cabinet cabinet doors like lots of drawer space they call the countertop space here in your bedroom sometimes you just need somewhere to set stuff down and a little more storage down there now here in your bedroom you have a tablet like we saw in the galley or in the salon with the tech link that is on a launch port control there as well so you can carry this around the coach to manage your different systems and it's got that magnetic la magnetic launch port you could put that back in place and you also have your doorbell camera there so if someone rings that doorbell and you don't want to get out of bed you can look at who's at your door and then talk back to them you can see them and they can't see you then you've got a little more storage up top here and i like that it doesn't come out too deep uh, just enough to put a couple you know pillows or blankets up there but you're still not when you're, you're sitting up in bed you don't have to worry about hitting your head on that ceiling and again that same beautiful design on the ceiling i really like the style of this floor plan with a very large rear closet and then you've got this big washer and dryer this is an asco stackable washer and dryer here in your closet so as soon as stuff comes out of that dryer you can either hang it right there in one of your closets or lay it down here on the bed to fold clothes put it away here but, but a very nice spot for uh, your washer dryer and then you've got a lot of your electronic components housed in the rear of the coach here you could see the ac is ducted back here into your rear closet as well and lined with a very high-end carpet and then you've got more wardrobe there across the back of the coach and just little spots like this little little storage here and it's got this little nook so if you set some stuff on there wouldn't be falling over while in travel and utilizing every little space for drawers there's a lot of your remotes and still that marathon coach logo like we've seen throughout and then you've got outlets down here and again your emergency door release for your closet door and more uh shelving here this is what the coach looks like with the slide rooms in you can see plenty of room to get through your aisle way and get to your galley and as i showed you before you can swivel this to make it easier to get in and out and then this table is all the way towards the wall right now but it can be extended even more if you need more room and easy access to your galley and you have nice easy access to your water closet and your shower uh, this really doesn't change at all with the slide rooms in and still a lot of room here in your bedroom uh, with the slide room in back here now to get to your rear closet this bed will tilt up a little bit so if we come over here and just press the bed up button it's actually swiveling up right now i apologize those accent pillows are falling over but i did want to show you guys that even with the slide rooms in you can very easily put your bedroom up and I like this, that you can get through the entire coach completely usable with the slide rooms in. Still do a load of laundry back there. Now, when it is time to go to bed, you probably are going to want to lay that flat, but really a cool feature there. If you are a serious buyer looking for a late model Prevo, this coach is an incredible opportunity priced under 1.5 million for a 2019 Prevo Marathon coach 
It is by far the best deal on a 2019 Marathon Coach on the market. You can check the comps. And I always get excited when I get to get my camera in front of a really cool coach like this, especially when it's priced to sell like this one. So if you are a serious buyer, you can contact Dave Wall at the Motorhome Exchange in Stewart, Florida, here at Liberty Coach of Florida. I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.